Right, thank you and um, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so on behalf of Pearson um, I'd like to say we're delighted to be sponsoring the CBI Breakfast Apprenticeship um, meeting with you. So uh, just a few words to try and set some sort of context to put the event this morning into uh, perspective for everybody. Um, there's no doubt then for UK PLC the development of skills in the workplace and in particular development through apprenticeships is more timely and more relevant today than at any other time. But whilst we enjoy our breakfast meeting today, and in particular hearing from Minister John Hayes, we should remember that the reality of recession still pervades conversations in government and of course into the boardrooms of British companies. Recently there's been a lot of press coverage over the sort of statistics that underpin the economy as it stands today. More than one in five young people aged 16 to 24 are out of work, and almost 100,000 of them have been unemployed for two years or more. Youth unemployment rate in the UK rose to 20.2%. It's one of the highest in the European Union. There are now 949,000 16 to 24 year olds out of work, and a rise of 15,000 in the last quarter. And it's now approaching levels that we haven't seen since the 1980s. And youth unemployment situation is probably exasperated now by the estimated 210,000 young people that failed to gain a university place this year. So, do we have any reason then to be optimistic about the future? Well, I think we do. I think the reality is that the world in which we live today is the world in which we must survive. There will be no return then to our yesterdays, but only a belief that there is a better tomorrow and a better future for British businesses. And the economy, I think, is fundamentally in a better working order position than most people probably do believe or, f or actually perceive to be true. Manufacturing is growing in the UK faster than any other sector of the economy. We're still a big exporter of services around the world. We're still very innovative in this country. And we're still manufacturing and we're selling profitably to other countries. And we have in government a minister who is passionate about the value of apprenticeships and that that they deliver in workforce development. And perhaps the recent announcement about access to apprenticeships is both positive and welcomed by employers and one that training providers need to take into employers and explain how to use those programmes. So I hope from this breakfast meeting then that we'll leave today better with a better understanding of the value that apprenticeships deliver into the workforce and that we see them and begin to recognise them as being as important as investing in plant and machinery irrespective of government funding. We know that government values skills supply but the focus is shifting rapidly to help employers to help themselves both individually and collectively and that public funding for capacity enhancement not merely the throughput of numbers must provide a real focus on business improvement it must provide impact and it must effectively utilise the skills of the workforce. And if we can do any and all of that, only then will we begin to make a real dent in the unemployment figures, particularly for young people, and only then will the UK's economy be able to grow and fully recover from this crisis. I would ask you to take away from today and ask in your businesses what you can do to help apprenticeships in your workplace because if each and every one of our businesses were to take just one person on, then we'd make a huge impact for young people in this country and we'd be able to develop a skilled workforce for the future through apprenticeship delivery. Thank you very much.